Hi everyone, it's me Kayla and in today's video I am going to talk about getting dentures from start to finish. What I went through personally. Now, let me preface this by saying that every mouth is different. Every dentist is different. Every state is different. Every denture is different. That means that everybody is going to go through the same process but it's going to be unique to you, to your mouth, to your situation. And there's no one size fits all when it comes to dentures. So just keep that in mind when I'm talking about what I went through personally, as far as the denture process goes. Um, if you like me or my videos, if you hate me, okay. But that's rude. Anyway, if you like me, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. I get them both, it's whatever. Water off a duck's back. If you guys see me looking down, it is because I have an entire two pages of notes because I didn't want to just ramble in this video. You're welcome. I got you. All right, here we go. Let me give you the backstory in case you've never seen one of my videos before of what happened. So I had an accident, I fell, I broke all my front teeth, and previous to that I had had gastric bypass. So along the course of the last almost 11 years at this point, um, I've thrown up more than I should have. If I take a bite of too much food, if I eat the wrong food, if it's the wrong time of day, if it's like a Tuesday at like 3 or like random Saturday at like seven who knows my, my, I never know what's gonna sit out so I threw up a lot during this process and that's a whole separate video why I don't support gastric bypass all right back to back to the video I already got off on a tangent so I had had the surgery I had had an accident which I broke all of my front teeth down to the gum line and then I got pregnant like I spent a lot of time fixing the teeth and then I got pregnant and they basically just pulled all my back teeth so I ended up in a set of partials they were horrible the top was okay the bottom was just ridiculous I never wore them I hated them it looked okay but it didn't function and for me I needed both I guess I'm that girl I want them pretty and to work Long story short, after a couple of years, um, they just started to break off. One by one, everything that had been built up and fixed and restored, which I'd spent thousands and thousands and thousands, thousands of dollars to get them fixed, they just started breaking off one by one. So eating random things, it would just break off. And eventually I knew that I was going to end up in a full set of dentures. So I started watching Cal and Jax. I started watching other people who I'm not gonna name because I don't like them as human beings anymore. Okay. I watched other people and I decided that this is what I was gonna do. That I made up my mind, I knew what I wanted, and I went for it. So one day I was having some pain and by some pain I mean I wanted to chop my whole head off just off with her head the whole thing just bye bye <laughs> heads were gonna roll if I had to keep going through that pain so I called around about a trillion dentists and I couldn't afford it um, I went to some dentist who accused me of doing drugs and it's just not the kind of dentist that you want to go for if somebody asks you flat out have you ever abused drugs and you've never abused drugs <laughs> find another dentist okay so i finally found this guy um dr j and i'd gone through all of his reviews i've gone through everything and and his prices were extremely affordable so i i gone to another place and, and just had an extraction and paid like $170, something stupid. And then like two, three days later, the rest of my teeth started hurting. So that's when I 
you know, revisited Dr. J because I had found him six months previous, like on Google. And then I'd waited all that time because I just didn't have the money. So found him, had an extraction by another dentist, then found him again. And I called him up just in pure desperation to just be out of pain. I asked if there was any way that they could do an extraction on me. And they said, come in same day just come in as, as soon as you can get here and we'll take a look at it and we'll we'll take it out if it needs to be taken out so i go into the dentist's office and this is where it all begins congratulations you've made it six minutes in and i'm just now starting so i go into the dentist's office and i told him where that tooth was hurting he agreed it was beyond saving and he said okay i can pull the teeth but you have a lot of other teeth that would need to be pulled as well and I said yeah I'm aware um, I, I want to get dentures I've been researching it I've been looking into it and that's where I think that I need to be going and, I, and he agreed with me he said you know you're right I could save a couple of them but for the most part you're gonna end up in a pair of dentures and he was literally a denture place, like 210 denture. That was his office. He like literally did dentures and only dentures for a living. He tells me how much it's going to be because obviously price is <laughs> vital. And he tells me what it's going to be. He quotes me $300 to do the extractions. And I think it was 800 for the immediate dentures. So I called my mom and she said, all right, go ahead, do it. And I was like, today? Like, <laughs> what's going on? So she go, she said, go ahead and do it. She, was, she didn't want to see me in pain anymore. And, you know, she had the extra money to, to help me out. So I went back into the office and he said, okay, when do you want to schedule your full mouth of extractions? And I said, well, I don't know, whenever you're open, I guess. I don't know how it works. And he said, oh, okay, uh, how about today? And I was like, like, like today? Like this day, like I, I woke up and I'm gonna get extractions and then I'm gonna go to sleep, but it's all in the same day. And he's like, yeah, I can time later on this afternoon. If you want, we'll schedule it and we'll get them out today. And I was like, I was not ready for that and I like almost threw up I got sick with anxiety and I almost had a panic attack and I explained that to him and um, I was like I, I just wasn't prepared for this I didn't know it was gonna happen <laughs> today and he said no I got some for that and they bring me these two volumes and I've never had volume before again I'm not a drug addict so I'd never had volume before and they gave me one like as soon as I was at the office and then told me to take the other one 30 minutes before I came back. So they'd scheduled the extractions like I think two, two and a half hours later and I was going to come back. So he told me to take that, the second volume before the procedure. He told me to go out and take lunch, you know, eat while I still could and I did. So. That day, I, I go, you know, prepare everything. I remember I didn't have anything. I didn't have, I didn't have scope. I didn't have a denture bath. I didn't have a brush. I had nothing because I wasn't expecting it to happen like that. And I literally <laughs> had nothing. So during that time, I'd eaten lunch. I'd gone to Walmart and got a bunch of stuff for the process. And then um, I went and changed because <laughs> I'd seen other people's videos and I didn't want to get blood on my shirt because I'm like that so I changed into like a Ninja Turtle shirt or just a shirt that I really didn't care about and then I went back to the office and we go back he numbs me up he goes to start pulling the front tooth and it still hurts and so he had to shoot me with a different kind of Novocaine like a stronger version of the Novocaine and once that set in, he went through and started pulling it. It took him like 30 minutes to pull him. And I was in and out. That's when we discussed 
the aftercare, what I needed to do, what the next steps in the process were, and what was going to happen along the way. So I leave the office, I go get my prescriptions filled, and I go home and I sleep for like a week. Like a whole week. <laughs> Literally almost a whole week. Because I have no tolerance to drugs. Or, I don't know, not drugs, but I have no tolerance to like prescriptions. So every time I took the medicine, which he prescribed me tramadol, by the way, tramadol doesn't really work that well. That's another story. So he prescribed me tramadol and I'd never taken it, I'd never heard of it, anything like that. So, uh, he basically, um, put me to sleep. Just every time I took it, he put me to sleep and he advised me to take the medicine 30 minutes before. So like, it was four to six hours. So if it had been like five hours or three and a half hours, like I could have taken it 30 minutes before because he didn't want the medicine to ever wear off and I be in pain. So he wanted me to stay on a schedule of being ahead of it so that I wouldn't actually feel the pain. Um, the only problem is Tramadol doesn't work, just puts me to sleep. So I was still in pain. I advised him of that and then eventually he prescribed me like Tylenol 3. I think something like that anyway I slept for that week and I start, I finally started feeling better feeling like myself I mean the, the week was miserable it's it's I'm going to be very honest with you it's miserable um, but it's not the worst thing that could happen it's worth it if you if you're hearing me say oh it was miserable and it sucked well that's just the truth it does they rip teeth out of your jaws it's gonna hurt you know it's gonna hurt a little bit so my face swelled up and I was drooling blood and the smell the smell made me gag and throw up a couple of times now, I didn't have immediates placed on because I'd literally gone in that morning. We didn't have time for impressions. <laughs> like, it's the way it worked. We didn't have time to have made impressions or done a wax trying or anything like that. So, I really just waited it out for, for a little while. So, about a week and a half later, I go back in and that's when we start the process for the immediate dentures. He wanted my gums to come down in size and swelling so that we could get a better fit for the immediate dentures along the way, which I actually recommend highly. Uh, doing that, it spared me from a lot of problems that I think other people had. So we go in and he takes the impressions and that is where they fill a tray. A, by the way, big tray, like it's way bigger than your mouth. Now there are different sizes for different mouth sizes, but it's gonna gag you. That's that, it's gonna gag you. It's definitely gonna gag you. Okay. It'll feel like it's running down the back of your throat. It's cold. And if you have your teeth in when you get the impressions, I can tell you from experience, it's going to hurt because it's cold. So if your teeth are bad and they're sensitive, it's going to be painful because of the sensitivity and whatever periodontal disease, whatever issues that you have going on with your teeth, it's going to be painful. Okay, so I literally got to like step three and we're 15 minutes in. Sorry, I don't even know where I was. Okay, actually we're on nine, so I'm doing good. Nine out of... 18. Okay, so I have the impressions done and that's when he tells me he's going to make up the teeth and that I would be coming in for the wax try-on. Now, at this point, I didn't have anything to do with any of this. Uh, he did it all. I had no experience. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was going through. So I just trusted him to know how to do his job. Seems good to me. So I get a call from them a couple days later and they say, you know, the, the teeth are ready uh, for me to come in and do the wax try-on. The wax try-on is essentially the place where they will line your teeth up, where they check to make sure that they fit properly, where the 
There's a proper, like, overbite that they, that the, the canines are in the right place. Also, that the midline matches up. So, where the cube is well, like right here, it should line up directly. <laughs> I can't see. It should line up directly. They check the placement of that and make sure everything's okay. If there's anything that needs to be changed, this is the time to do it. Otherwise, <laughs> you're screwed. Yeah. Mine were fine. I liked them. They looked pretty to me. I trusted him to know what he was doing, like I said. So I just signed off and that was that. He called me a couple days later once the, the, the final set of immediates were made. And I came in and we tried them on. Now, when I first got them, in the first six months, your, your teeth are shrinking. Or your, not your teeth, I'm sorry. You have no teeth. Your gums are shrinking very rapidly. And so within the time period from when I had the impressions to when I actually got the dentures, there was, there was a shift. That's when he went in and made adjustments. As soon as I got that set, they adjusted it. They didn't just slap them in my mouth and say, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. They actually, I dropped my paper. They actually went through and shaved down parts that would have been sore spots if we didn't fix them. So they were all the way up in my nose and they had to shave down, let me see, this part right here. And I had frenulums, which is the little piece of skin that's underneath the lip. And then I had two more down here and then one in the middle. And the skin that basically holds the gums and the lips together so you don't lose them, I suppose. I don't know why the frenulum exists, honestly. So we had to cut out space for my frenulum, do the adjustments, and they sent me on my way. About a week later, this is when I started getting little rubbing spots. Now, this was the only week with my temporary dentures that I used adhesive. I never used adhesive after that because my dentist was on top of my dentures. So the first week I went in after that time and this is when they did like the first major adjustment. There was some rubbing going on and he shaved that part down so that it wouldn't be rubbing so much. Also they took down a little bit of like down here, the bottom sides, to make that more comfortable for me. They shaved the back palette. So like the inside because I was gagging 24 7 just gagging I was breathing and gagging and gagging and breathing and there will be some gagging that's normal because you're it's a foreign you know it's a foreign object and your mouth doesn't know what to do with it it thinks it's food my dentist explained it to me that you'll you'll water more at the beginning of getting dentures because your mouth thinks that something foreign going in it is food, which starts the digestion process. Process. It starts the digestion process. So the saliva goes in, it helps to break down a little bit before the food travels down and gets into the stomach and the intestines. So your mouth is gonna water like a bloodhound. <laughs> like a just it's crazy how much your mouth is gonna water so expect that it happens to us all you're not different it's gonna happen to you too i know it's okay this is also the part where after on the first adjustment where they put in the first off line. i didn't even have to ask them for it he just automatically put it in because there was like i said there was a shift between when the impression's done to when the teeth were a week past being given to me. So he put in the soft reline and that made it so the teeth didn't move, they didn't budge, like I didn't need adhesive after that. They were on top of it. And that is where a soft reline is basically soft material that fills the gaps from where the gums are to where the plastic or the acrylic is. And it also makes it more comfortable. It's kind of like having a pillow for your gums, like Dr. Scholl's for your gums, if you will and it makes it a lot more comfortable and it makes it more steady so the reline changed my life and i stopped having to use adhesive after that now during the first six months this is when you'll go through an amazing amount of adjustments 
adjustments, adjustments, adjustments. Get used to the word. It is going to become a part of your life. You might even dream about it. It is just going to be something that you need to expect. It is ever changing in there. Your gums are shrinking, things are shifting, they're moving, it's to be expected. You will have to go in for adjustments. It's inevitable. Um, if you can afford to go and it's not included in your package, if you're not having affordable dentures or whatever, then it's still worth it to get the adjustment done. Personally, I didn't have to pay for it because it was included. Like my dentist didn't nickel and dime me. He didn't overcharge me any of that. So things went pretty smoothly and he just took care of everything for me. And yeah, I got really, really blessed with the dentist that I had. But don't push it off if you don't have to. Get the adjustments, get get the soft relines if you can. If your dentist is trying to charge you 800 or 500 for a soft reline, just tell him to kick rocks because that's ridiculous. Maybe think about searching around. I was in my dentist's office for that. For me, it was four months. Most people will go through six. But for those four months, I was in the dentist's office like freaking every week. Maybe every other week if I got lucky, but probably every week because he wasn't very far away from me and he didn't want me to be in pain at all and he was an incredible dentist. So I was in there every week getting adjustments done. Adjustments, adjustments, adjustments. Your mouth is going to change. Your teeth are going to need to change with it. It's not going to be the same as when you first got them. So there will be things that need to be done in, in the meantime. So you'll go in however often you might have to go in to get adjustments and if you have sore spots please go in and get an adjustment because there's no need to just deal with that kind of pain especially if it's included in your your package don't don't be in pain for no reason um using benzodent just to cover it up so you can get through the day like you deserve to be comfortable and happy even though this process is not all not all that comfortable and happy. All right, never ending process. Remember that it's going to change. You're going to change, they're going to change. You will need to change together. So at about four months, my, my dentist personally, he was selling his practice and he got bought out by Affordable Dungeons. Um, it's just business. And before he closed his office, he wanted to make sure that I got my permanent dentures. Um, you know, we had a good relationship. Due to him being the price, price at the point that he was at, people messaged me and asked me where I went. And I told them. And people from all across the country went down to San Antonio and got their teeth done. And so just because of that, like it wasn't on purpose, it just happened that way. I got really blessed. He gave me my permanent dentures for free and he wanted to make sure they were done before he sold his practice. So I went in at four to five months, I think, almost five months. I went in and we started the process for permanents. Now, this is kind of like going through the process for Temporaries, except you've already got your teeth out, your gums are already healed really well, and this is where you get to choose what you want as far as permanents go. Now, for permanent dentures, I went in and we did another impression because, like I said, your gums are going to change, and the permanents are meant to fit like a glove, they're meant to hug your gums after the healing. Like the majority of the shrinkage just already happened, it's meant to fit right right these are going to be permanent you're going to have them for years so they need to be right so we took another impression of my mouth and that's when we talked about what i wanted he asked me exactly what i wanted and i explained in detail what i wanted i explained that i wanted pretty white teeth that fit my mouth and looks nice and um, you know, I just wanted something that would, would work for me. I was so happy with the process that I'd gone through. So yeah. So I explained everything that I wanted. I wanted super white teeth. And that's when I got the backlash of, you don't want white teeth because they don't look fat. 
He was incredible. He accommodated what I wanted. I wanted a bright smile. And I got it. So be persistent in what you want. Tell them what you want. If you want the highest level of bleach shades that there are, ask for it and get it. So after he had put the initial wax set together, they gave me a call and said, you know, can you come in? We'll do the wax try-on and see how things are fitting and then we'll go from there. I go into the office, we do the wax try-on and there's a couple of things that I wasn't thrilled about. Um, Oh, he had only placed, he had only placed these front teeth because he, they just didn't put the molars in. So they'd only placed the front teeth to make sure that the alignment was correct with my face. Now there is a method on the sizing of the teeth that goes from canine to canine and it's how many millimeters across. So he checked the sizing of it. He checked the midline to make sure everything was correct. He moved things around. And I do have that in a video. Um, I'll put it in the description box of where we were making the wax, like we were doing adjustments to the wax try on, like the things that I wanted. Um, and this is where I went back and forth for a very long time on what color, because we had originally ordered the PW2. And PW2 stands for Portrait White 2. It means it's the very first level of the bleach shades in the Portrait IPN teeth that I got so I was it was it looked good um, I'll insert a couple of pictures somewhere around here to show you what that looked like and it looks great but I wanted them whiter so sue me I wanted them whiter and we talked about that and he's like, I really don't think you should go whiter. They're going to look fake. You don't want to stand out that much. And I was like, I really, I really want them whiter. Okay. So we agreed. He let me pick out the teeth shape that I wanted. He, based off his recommendation, he said I would recommend this particular tooth. And then we had to find one that accommodated the bleach shades. So I wanted to go to a PW4. He was reluctant, but he was incredible. So we ordered the PW4 in the Portrait IPN. Then he, we go, you know, I go home and he calls me in for another wax try on this time with the new teeth. And um, we changed the teeth from the original set and you'll see it in the pictures wherever I put them. The first set and then there was the second set because we actually changed the sizing of the teeth. He said, based off, <laughs> I have a big mouth. <laughs> So based off the size of my big mouth, I could accommodate bigger teeth because the other ones were very small. If you look at these, they're bigger. And the other set, the first set that he had ordered, they were very, very small, very, very small, like hamster teeth, small. And I have a big mouth. So we stepped up the size of the teeth, we stepped up the colors to the PW4. Okay. Again, this is just my process. Everybody else is going to be different. He calls me in for the, the next wax try on. This is where he again just adjusts things around. He checks the midline. He checks between the canines and the canine to make sure that they're all right. We checked the sizing, if everything was going to fit in my mouth. He adjusted them. He moved them. He lit them up in the wax with a lighter. That's all in one of my other videos. Again, I'll post it down below. You can see how we adjusted things throughout the course of the process. I'm so glad I documented all of this. Yay me. After this next wax try-in, he was very perfectionist. Um, he wanted, he did them himself and he wanted them set right. So he spent a lot of time on my teeth, setting them and getting them perfect. So he said, okay, I'm gonna do more work on this. And that was the point when I had actually asked for more detailing in my gums. This is important. If I can get close enough, I'll show you. So my gums have a lot of detail in them because that is what I asked him to do. 
I really wanted the detailing so that they would look as real as possible that I'd seen somebody else do it. I think it was Lillian, but I'm not sure. Somebody else had posted a video and I really liked the look of that, so that's what I went for. I asked him for the detailing. And as you can see, oh, this is gonna be very attractive. Just bear with me. You can see like the ridges right here. Okay, sorry about the red nail polish. I just took that off. But right here. Down here. I'm gonna get even closer. <laughs> just stare all in my mouth. You can see the detailing in each tooth. So I had asked for that. I wanted it and thank God he was able to accommodate me because I think I love my teeth so much. I love them. So he calls me back a couple of days later. He's like, the teeth are done. Come in. Let's just be done with this. <laughs> yes, he said that. Anyways, calls me in. I go in. I love them. I immediately was like, they're perfect. They're so much better than what I could have asked for. I am so supremely grateful for what you've done for me. And I gave him a big hug and I didn't have to pay anything because he gave them to me for free. So that was that. Was that. that was my process from start to finish. Um, I've made videos the whole time throughout this process to try and help as many people as possible. But you can't help for everyone. So I wrote it down what the process would be like for somebody who wasn't as special as I am. And by special, I mean like special. All right, so most people are gonna go in, they're gonna get a consultation or they're going to have gone in for some sort of pain and your dentist is gonna say, you need dentures. That's it, that's what most people's journey is gonna be. You go in, you get your consultation, they'll tell you what you need to do, how much it's gonna be, and what the next process is. Then you are gonna go in for your molds, like the impressions, where they take the mold of your mouth, where you gag, it tastes horrible, you can make it through it, it's not that bad. It's not good, but it's not that bad either. All right, so the molds of impressions. Then you're going to go in for your extraction. Now, that's the day that most people just, they're, they're scared, nervous, they're sick, they don't know what to do, they don't know what to expect. Maybe they've watched videos, maybe they haven't. This is where that whole process takes place. They get their extractions. If they got implants, that's when the implants will be placed. If you didn't get implants, that's when you're going to go home with the temporary or the immediates, the temps, or the immediates that they had previously made upon the wax try-on. Not the wax try-on, because you can't do a wax try-on with teeth still in your mouth. And the, um, the molds. So, you'll get the extractions, your teeth will be placed on, you'll go home, you'll handle that however you choose to handle it. Hopefully you're ready, you got all your stuff together. Then over the next course of the six months, the the majority of when your gums are gonna heal, that is when you will get adjustments, you will get changes, you'll get relines, you'll get soft relines, maybe even hard relines. I might do a video about that all just later on. Okay, then about the six month point, this is when you're gonna go in, you're gonna get another impression kit done. Cause that makes three and three is your third strike out I don't know so you're gonna go in for the third one and this is when again they'll they'll check your gums the sizing things like that and they will make the wax try on based upon what you ask for the, the color teeth that you want the detailing etc not everybody's gonna accommodate the detailing I got very blessed lucky if you will um, that I got that but not everybody is gonna get that it's okay 
they're still gonna look nice, they're still gonna look beautiful, and they're still gonna function properly, okay? So then you'll go in for your, your wax try-on once they've done all of that, and if you agree that you like them, they're placed right, the midline is straight, then you're gonna sign off on your teeth and you're gonna take them home. That is the pair you're gonna wear for years. So take care of them. Then we're done. Whew, that was a long video. Sorry guys, if you, if you watched it just to watch me because you've already got dentures for like 10 years, you are amazing. Thank you. If you've never watched me before, well then I am Kayla and I'm a little crazy and I get nervous and I ramble. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dentist, I'm nobody. I'm just Kayla, a girl who put herself out on the internet for the world to see. So, comment, like, subscribe, whatever you want. I'll love you either way. Maybe not everybody because some people are jerks. Smell right.